Service members and families gather at Henry's place on Camp Henry to congratulate three new U.S. citizens, including one serving his country. I'm from Goiânia, Brazil. I've been in the States for a while, um, and uh, you know, the States feel like home for me, so it feels more like home than Brazil, so that was why I decided to become a U.S. citizen. I've always wanted uh, to join the military. Me and my, uh, my younger brother, he's in, he's in the military as well. Since we were little, you know, we'd always play with Army men, and, so it's something I've always wanted to do and I finally got around to doing it, so. I think as part of my job here overseas, that is the most important aspect of my job. Knowing that we have a service member, okay, who's fighting for a country that he or she is not a citizen of, and we're able to basically bestow our best or the highest award, which is U.S. citizenship, okay, because of their dedication and service to uh, the armed forces and the United States. I think it was a cool ceremony. Um, it was cool to have, uh, you know, the chain of command here and all the support, it was cool. I mean, I feel like I've accomplished uh, some things in the military. I feel like there's more that I need to accomplish, but I'm proud of the achievements I've done so far. It was a special day for me. Uh, I've been looking forward for this day for a while, and it finally came, and now it's over with, so now I can move on to, you know, the next chapter of my life. The final step was a simple oath, and Private Bonillo became a United States citizen. Kitusa Corporal Guakilbin, Camp Henry, Korea.